Hello and welcome back to our Electric Count of Wissenland campaign where we are not too happy with the fact that Wormgroob is no longer ours. He also owns land in Streisen. And he has the barony down here as well. Ugh. I would... Mm. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wait until, uh, until she's dead. Um... If you die, you become a person. Uh, can I, like, give you anything? Mm, not really. I can't make you join my court. Because you're not an adult. Fair enough. Great. Grand Theogenist. Can I request money? No, because you don't like me enough. Well, perhaps we should change that by improving religious relations where you are improve diplomatic relations as well so like double chance you the dude of Hockland want to marry my courtier I decline and I will instead offer to arrange a marriage between your good self and between my niece Elizabeth there you go sir we shall be we shall be Brothers in arms, you incapable... Why are you incapable? Oh, you're bedridden for some reason? Alright, well, there we go. We're now in bed with the, uh... Detlef of Hockland. Wait, you Aaron? Are you... Detlef seems like it's kind of my... My kind of area. Oh, shit. We've got people here actually taking care of that. They immediately die, we only lose 2,000 men. That's a funny ass flag. Alright, go back to Nuln. How much money did you take here? Ah, nothing. That's fine. We really need to improve the walls in certain regions. Hey, right, for Haustein. Uh, don't have the money for it. You love keeping things in order. Chance of you becoming diligent. But diligent is amazing. Diligent or patient? Patient would be a guarantee, whereas this is just chance. And patient is a pretty good trade as well, so let's go with that. You should marry... You. Yes. That sounds like an amazing... Uh... Thing. Yes. Righteous imprisonment on you for what? Right, I'm afraid... I'm afraid this is not on, sir. Um, we, we, we we will be going to war with you for this. You cannot claim my land, sir. Okay, we'll just wait until that's done. There we go. Now, everyone go here. Make sure everyone go here. Accept. Accept. Uh, I don't know if they accept it or not. Ooh, technological advancements. How about... Did we want keeps or inf ca uh, or castle infrastructure? Um, Imperial castle needs a keep. Hamlets needs castle. Walls need keep, interestingly enough. Uh, you need castle. I'm thinking we go with keeps because, you know, Imperial castle is amazing. Levy size plus 17% is just... Yes, please. Uh, so yes, we're going to go with improved keeps. Which means we can, uh, when we have money, more, 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 more everything. Oh, you've died and being replaced. Okay. Alright, everyone roughly is here, so let's try and imprison this bastard. And we got it. So, let's, um... Feed him to the griffin. <laughs> Get fucked. Right. And we will lower the levy. You can go and murder these raider bastards. And you have been succeeded by this guy who actually does love me because he is dim. So, uh, yes. That's, that's a thing. Right. 
You cannot raid this province. The, the walls are too good. But you shall die on the walls. So there you go. That's the thing that just happened. Yeah, we will definitely have to go to war with this person. They have 10,000 uh, 10, men, though, so that's going to be an issue. We can raise uh, more than that. A lot more than that. Which is good. Uh, we just have to get to that point. Right. We shall save up the 552 ducats, I think. Another vassal inheritance warning. You will be inherited by you, which is a thing of you, which is a thing of you, which is not good. I thought I did inheritance only within my nation. Like, why is it... Why is it even possible for outsiders to inherit? Like, I fixed this. I need new seneschal. You hate me, why? You're a mute. I'm a mutant. Fed relative to dragon. It wasn't a dragon, it was a griffin, just so you know. You want a seat on the council? Uh, no. Uh, you can be my seneschal. Tell you what, you can be my jester, because you're funny. And you can be this, and I need a new seneschal again. Be you. You've usurped this. That's fine, I honestly don't care. You go deal with this. I need a new spy master. You will do. You love me, which is good. How much do you love me? Plus 100. Beautiful. And I actually want you to scheme in the capital. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to die, so I want you to like help out with preventing that. Righteous imprisonment on you for doing what? Kill Prince Kevin of Wissenland. Oh no, you didn't. I am going to... Well, your plot is ended. So I think I'm just going to throw you in the, the Weebliet. Sorry, Detlef von Lambrecht. I hope your son grows up to be a lot less of a pain in my ass. Uh, you're two years old, so maybe you get someone a little bit closer to your age. Like you, yes. And we're fighting... What the fuck are you? You're an old, monstrous, minor mutant with magic potential. Well, I guess we're gonna murder you. Oh, it's actually a bit closer. Ah, no, no, you're dead. I think you should love me for murdering your wife, to be honest. Mm, we need to sort our nation out so it doesn't... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. I'm actually certain of it. Yeah, controlled realm inheritance. It shouldn't be possible for my inheritance to, uh, my land to go to someone else's land because of inheritance. It shouldn't be possible. But apparently it is, so that's an issue that we need to keep an eye on. Especially considering we're going to lose Fildorf as well. Which would suck because that would bring the entire duchy away. We need you to have kids. Okay, you're gonna grow up pretty soon. I actually don't want you to be... Um, yeah, I know, I know why that's happening, because your heir is not even your sibling. Maybe if we have a uh, status of role of women is, like, you know, significant, then it would actually go to your sister instead but we'll see what happens with your um with your marriage when she is old enough although you're now at war with war for Fildorf and I think you're gonna lose so you who does have kids okay this is good I hope you win just fuck this guy and you've got a bit of a revolt going on you. When can I attack you? Uh, August 95. Gotcha. I guess we're just waiting on that then. We're very close to being able to afford the, uh, the Imperial Castle. But we could also get, like, so many good things. Wissenland Mines. Oh, I have to go for the Wissenland Mines. Castle can wait. Look at that. All of that is amazing. All of the attack and all that, it's just, oh, so good. 
Caravan Guard, don't really care about. Gunnery School needs a military academy. Known Artillery Foundry needs castle infrastructure, but it would give me 20 artillery, and considering we're known, we probably should have some artillery. Because that's kind of what they're known for. Burn, my courtier. Uh, strong, dim, with magic. I don't care about you, so goodbye. So, castle infrastructure, how soon can we get that? I'm imagining not soon. Yeah, it's going to be a while. We're getting one per month, I think that is. It's not a year, it's got to be a month. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be quite some time. Maybe we can get our council dude to research economy tech, actually. That would... Uh, I mean, it just increases the spread rate, so it's not good. Study technology would be the best thing. You want to matrilineally marry my bastard nephew? Sure. He's got scales. I don't want him here. Yeah, I hope this guy wins before he dies. That would indeed be the best thing. Mercantile Academy has been built, so I'm now making 24.11. Very nice income, very nice. At some point, I'm sure of it, we will end up owning the entirety of the Empire. But I don't know how long that's going to take. Ah, go ahead, scroll in, scroll in, I want to see the battle. Eh, that's almost it. The part where they died was the most important part anyway. Yeah, so they, uh, they, they nabbed a little bit of loot, but it's not too bad. Truce expiring, that's exactly what I want. I think I'm going to wait until after this war is finished. I don't want to, like, interrupt this. But then we're going to go to war. With the Empress. I believe we have the ability to win. Siege down Worm Group and then just defend. Maybe we siege down their capital as well. Then we just defend our land and we should win. Uh, we buy the inn. Oh, as you travel by carriage on a road unknown, you pass by what appears to be an old shuttered inn. The sight of it fills you with questions. What forced them to close down? Could you do a better job than the previous owners? Perhaps this would be a golden opportunity to improve your stewardship. I will indeed buy the inn. This is because we went with uh, business folk. Yeah, they've got 9,000 men. Like, the problem with declaring wars is... Your enemies sometimes have all of their guys already in the correct, like they're all grouped up, whereas you start with people everywhere else. Bottomless tankard or the jester's choice. Hmm. The vagrants in your new inn have been evicted, the holes in the roof have been patched, and the whole building has been thoroughly aired out to cleanse it of the most offensive odours. New staff have been hired, and the time for you to, time has gone for you to decide on a name. Bottomless tankard, of course, that's a much better name. How, how badly are you losing your war right now? Get out of my land. Thank you. Right. Um, 79%. Shouldn't be long until that's one then. Just another... Another siege to go and then it's done. Things are very busy at your new inn, with everyone preparing for the grand opening night. Guests will be able to sample turnips for free, but if you... Uh, if you added a generous amount of salt to them, people might become more thirsty, and mead sales would increase. Um, let's go with just, like, 20% salt. Let's, let's see how salty that makes them. I don't know the, the standard salt content of the average turnip, so... Whistonland mines have been created. Fucking beautiful. What? No. Oh. This, then this. We can build castle walls. I believe that's a good idea. Your inn will soon open to the public, but one last detail demands your attention before the opening night. Some form of act or spectacle will need to be booked here to keep the guests around. After scouring the lands for what passes for entertainment, you conclude that the following options are available to you. A lengthy sermon on the evils of vice. Fuck no. Travelling barred from distant lands. A wild ass that allegedly speaks. Well, no, we're going with the bard. If the donkey don't talk. I mean, if the, if the donkey talks, 
it's heretical. If it doesn't talk, it's not fun. So, we can't go with that. And no one wants to listen to a priest jabber on. The bard you hired for the Nin's opening night was from far away and spoke a peculiar language. Yet despite this, there was a strangely compelling elegance and rhythm to his poetry and song. At least people th seem to think so. Sales were good. You see no reason to complain. Very nice. Exactly what I wanted. I am the best pub owner ever. The salt trick actually seems to have worked. Who would have thought? The thirst of your guests seemed unquenchable, and mead sales exceeded expectations. Very nice. The opening night of your inn has concluded, and the time has come for you to move on from this venture and resume your other duties. Whatever else can be said, you have learned many valuable lessons on running a business. Fire is ready to take the inn off your hands and a tidy little profit. Sweet. That's awesome. Gain two stewardship from it. And considering our stewardship was pretty trash, pretty good. You have usurped the title. Good. Now vassal inheritance is gone away. Declare war. De jure claim, so it will go to me. I also still want my gnome holdings, but de jure claim on worm group to make the borders pretty is more important. All of you move here. All of you move to Fildorf. Instantly murder this fool. Nicely done. Alright, now murder them again. The peasants have risen up. The bastards. Oh, blasted traitors. Yes, we know this. We know this to be true. Well, you can actually go and deal with it because you're pretty close. You can go here, you can go here, you can go here, you can all stay here. Blasted traitors. Oh no, you're actually attacking. Well, no, now you're staying. Right, go and deal with the blasted traitors. I believe then everyone should move to Worm Group. Beautiful. We'll siege this down fairly quickly. And then we'll have a ticking war score that they cannot overcome. Vassal levies raised too long. Yeah, but this is for the good of the realm, sir. You you want me to do this. We must do this. This is vital. Right, any elves joined in? Not quite yet. Though I fully expect there to be elves, because there is always fucking elves. Alright, let's raise these two cheap-ass uh, levies as well. Bring them down. Let's see a small um, empire army, or Hraikland army. Not really relevant. This should fall fairly quickly, I think. Oh, you're in the middle of a bloody disease as well. What is this? Red pox. You should uh, talk to... <gasps> is he dead? He's dead. No, no. It seems like uh, the, the, um, the grand tradition of kings of Britonia glorifying Nurgle continue. Because, yeah. You seem to be a Nurk Light as well. And you're 105. Oh, hang on, I want to see. History. Uh, you. You were 134 when you died under suspicious circumstances. So you didn't even die of any plague or disease. You just... Someone stabbed you for being, like, a follower of Nurgle. Oh, there. 8,000 men. Hopefully we can get through this siege before they, uh... Oh no, they just don't know what to do. They're just marching back and forth like idiots. That's good. I'm okay with that. We're going to win this war. I don't want to assault, but... I mean, there's, there's still a bunch of, like, 1800... This is a thousand, we can definitely assault that. But then there's another, like, 1400... 
But yeah, we won't we won't assault just yet. Go leave leave this province. I don't want to take damn attrition. Bloody AI. They're just merging their forces, but their forces are not any match for ours, so we're gonna be fine. Yeah, look at morale as well. Someone died. You was ex you were uh, you was? You were executed. My brother. Who are you executed by? You were executed by by whom? Kind of annoying. Oh wait, we had you improving relations over here, so they've caught you and like murdered you. That sucks. Uh, sorry, brother. Yeah. Probably should get my chancellor out of there. Yeah, he's already out of there. That's good. Let's, let's build something in in Nuln. Oh, it's still building castle walls. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mercantile Academy, yes. Alright, well, I'm going to take a small break here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.